Hi, this is my D-Bot remix. This is the original D-Bot remix with a lot of different mods, including the Re-D-Bot project, the J-Bot project, and a couple others, I think. It's a work in progress. This is an early power on test. I just wanted to show the initial movement of the Z-axis and some of the modifications I've made. Um, so basically, let's take a look here. I'm using a uh, optical end stop from the re-debot project, I think. I'm using the three-wheeled um, brackets on all four corners of the bed. So this is an H-frame bed as opposed to the cantilever bed from the original project. I'm also using the three-wheeled um, H-bar guides, although the um, I don't have the belts or motors or anything on yet. Um, this is mainly to test the movement of this H-frame bed moving smoothly up and down. So you can see that uh, it's supported at all four corners by three-wheeled brackets. And um, you're, this is the back of the machine, so this is the original Q piece, the original O and P rails for the bed, and then this is just a, another piece, Q, cut exactly the same as the first Q piece and some extra brackets to bolt it onto the front and extra wheel guides to mount it to the, this is the front of the frame. And then um, going down, um, so at the bottom, the, the motor mount bar that goes across the center here is centered so that these lead screws are completely centered and balanced uh, both on the sides it's balanced side to side and balanced front to back, at least it should be. And um, going down, I also have these beefed up uh, corner bracket mods. I forget which project those came from, but those really help in getting the frame square and sturdy. Uh, I had a lot of problems before I started using those. So let's just take a look at the movement of the bed up and down. Uh, it's homed right now, so I'm going to send a, a G1 Z325 command to send it all the way to the bottom of the frame and you'll hear the sound that it makes. I'll put the camera a little closer to try to capture the sound a little better. The sound of those two uh, motors at the bottom. Now, it's interesting that going down, which is assist assisted by gravity, it actually seems to not only sound a little rougher, but also move a little rougher. I'm not sure. It's very subtle, but I thought sometimes I saw the frame wobbling a little bit corner to corner or front to back or side to side, probably front to back, which might indicate the lead screws are not perfectly straight or the frame is not perfectly balanced front to back. I'm not sure yet. If it is, I mean, it's not a obvious rocking motion at all. It's very, very subtle. So I don't know if that would even affect print quality or anything. But it's moving down here towards the bottom of the frame. And you can see the lead screw is spinning. The way I aligned the lead screw, if you look at it, I'll try to shift the camera this way. You can visually, with your eye, align the lead screw with one of the channels in the V-slot. And that way, just looking at it from top to bottom, you can see that the lead screw is perfectly lined up with the V-slot rails. Um, if you see any difference in gap from the top to the bottom, then it's not aligned uh, left and right or from the other side, vice versa. So it moved all the way to the bottom. You can see it gets very close there to the bottom, but that's 325, which is supposed to be the maximum uh, printable height for this uh, design. So that is looking pretty good. Um, I I measured these before, I won't do it on camera, but I measured to make sure that these were, I, I measured this height here, this height here, and of course on the sides, the height, the height, to make sure everything was still level, meaning that it wasn't skipping steps and like you know, one side was going down more than the other as it went down, but it looked pretty good. 
as within half a millimeter or so, it is still perfect. Um, I don't know if you can notice, I'll try to video it as it's going up. The lead screw on the right there, which is actually the left lead screw because we're looking at the back, kind of, I'll use my finger to demonstrate, kind of sways like a like back and forth like this at the, at the very top, only when the bed is at the very bottom, which makes me think that lead screw is not perfectly straight, not mounted straight, but I struggled and struggled and struggled for a long time to try to mount it straighter, and this is the straightest I can get it. So I can only guess that it's slightly bent or I'm doing something wrong. But it doesn't seem to be affecting anything at this time. All right, so I, and, uh, I'm going to use Proner Face here. I'm going to hit the Z Home button, so it's going to go back up. notice that that right lead screw there is wobbling to and fro ever so slightly. It's like maybe two millimeters of deflection. So I don't think it's too bad. Also, I don't know how well you can hear it from this phone camera, but um, it sounds way smoother going up than it does going down, which is weird because right now it's fighting gravity. The only thing I can think of is maybe these um, the, the brass nuts, the, the part that holds the lead screw, they might be cheap and, I mean, they, were, they came from uh, AliExpress, they are cheap. They probably don't have the best tolerance, maybe there's a little burr in there or something, so that when gravity is pushing down on it, maybe it's rubbing a little more, but when pushing up against gravity, it seems to be smooth. And there we go. I mean, we triggled, we, uh, triggled, triggered the optical end stop here. And you can see there's just, there's about 30 millimeters of lead screw left to go. So we could actually probably go a little higher, but uh, pretty soon you would hit the nozzle of the extruder. So uh, of course I'll adjust the optical end stop later to fine tune the exact height the bed stops up at the top. Um, but it goes down, when it goes down to 325Z, it's in exactly the place where I expect it to be. So that is looking pretty good. And again, I've done this before, but I measured this distance, this distance, and then on the sides, the height of the bed at all four corners to make sure we didn't skip any steps going up and it got tilted front, back, or left, right. And everything looks good within a millimeter or even less. So I'm pretty happy with this. And the next step is going to be putting the belts on the H-bar so that we have our core XY motion. Uh, and I'll try to take a video of that later when we've got more of this put together. Great, okay, thanks for watching.